Political differences is still emerging in Mount Kenya region as several politicians are going against Limuru 3 and regarding Gashagwa calling for Uhuru to meet. I want to begin by this man called Mutai Nguni. This is not the first time I'm analyzing Mutai Nguni and uh, according to Mutai Nguni, he is somehow bringing back the ghost of 2007 and 2008 and 2027 based on political platform as we know right now Rigadi Gashagwa is calling for Uhuru to meet and I analyzed it today by saying that central people will remain united and immediately if they will remain united then it will force President Ruto to have a political headache or nightmare believe me or not Tweet from Mutai Nguni direct is saying on Hakdag Limuru 3, Uhuru Kenyatta is the problem. I respect him, but he should climb down. The hashtag one man shillings campaign is meant to use Kikuyus to shield him. <laughs> the rest of the country disagrees. Dear Uhuru, we lost. Now Baba is with Ruto. Kikuyus will suffer because of you. That is Mutai Nguni making attack on Uru Kenyatta. He continued by saying, You can unite as much as you want at Hashtag Limuru 3. But the 43 tribes of Kenya can also unite behind Ruto without you. Why I warned Ruto that you cannot buy a Kikuyu. You can only rent one. You are an unreliable and ungrateful country will unite against you. What is Mutai Nguni trying to elaborate here? For those who have read and understood Mutai Nguni Street. We are still proceeding. He is carrying on now on 2027. Remember, he have get out of 2007. He is now on 2027. Is saying <laughs> mountain kikuyus are uniting to remove Ruto in 2027. Nothing more, nothing less. This is a foolish suicidal scheme revealed too early. I am a valley kikuyu and I will lead the rebellion against Gema, Gema unity. Kikuyus are different. Valley Kikuyus will not be used by Mount, Mount Kikuyus. So it means that mountain people are regrouping to at Smart Ruto 2027 according to Mutai Nguni. I want us to break this tweet into analysis today. Believe me or not, if regarding Ashagwa and, uh, and uh, Uhuru Kenyatta will reunite again in central Kenya, then it will mark the end of President Ruto. As I said it yesterday, today in the morning, that in any case Gashagwa is going to reunite with Uru, then Kikuris will vote against Williams Ruto. And the probability, probability sorry, of regarding Gashagwa to vie for presidential race 2027 will be 85 percent and i said in any case ruto is having disagreement with regarding gashagwa then it means that they must work hard to bring peace reconciliation in order government before i carry on ladies and gentlemen may i take this golden chance to thank you so much for your great support to this channel and those who are watching me at this moment i want just to remind you kindly take a one second and click that notification bell and subscribe to our channel and to the members who tried so much to subscribe to our channel i want to say thank you so much and be blessed as you border the same boat with the members i appreciate and please consider to give this video a thumb of like when you like this video it will reach several people in the youtube community and it's a kind of job offer you are doing to us in this channel remember we are on a road road trip to 3,000 subscribers, which we believe at the end of this month we will hit half 
of uh, of 3000 subscribers let's hope so we want to proceed with this analysis now when i begin with 2007 on whatever mtaingwin is saying 2007 the light mwai kibaki and rail odinga by that time was rail odinga they were in disagreement after election was not well carried as Kenyans were wishing. So after this disagreement, Kofi Annan, the late also, came into the country to solve this problem. It was Kikuyu versus Luos, not all other again tribe. So Luos went to the streets to demand their rights. So Kibaki and Uru Kenyatta, as Uru was propelling, people are saying that Uru was the one sponsoring, I don't know, <laughs> Mungiki people. They went to the street to stop the Luo people. By that time, the current president, William Ruto, was with Rai Lodinga, if I'm not wrong. Ruto went on the street, informed Rai Lodinga not to give out that power. But unfortunately, Raila handed power to Mwai Kibaki, and after that, Kofi Annan agreed to Kenyan's constitution to be amended that Raila Odinga to be made as a prime minister, if I'm not wrong. Kikuyus were now at peace because their son, Mwai Kibaki the late, clenched into power. After one year or two years or some years, uh, the late Jomo Kenyatta. Then when it's come to 2027, now they want to do away with William Ruto. After they have realized that uh, William Ruto is now disrespecting Rikadi Gasham, which I'm not sure on this, and I'm not aware of this, maybe it's just a political blackmail. Because right now Rikadi Gashagwa is the one who is commanding the country. Ruto is not in the country. So he's the one who is controlling the country. But for those who watched yesterday, he campaigned by calling Uru Kenyatta's unity. <laughs> and that one takes us to Mtai Nguyen's tweet. He's saying that he wants to talk to Uru Kenyatta. And I said it even today in the morning. I analyzed the main points for on that. Now, Mtai Nguyen is saying that 2027, Kikuyu are uniting themselves to remove William Ruto. Why? Is that is why is that the reason why Rigadi Gashawa is seeking Ouru? Because if it's that way, Ouru is having no peace with William Ruto. As much as Ruto has smarted them, together with the deep state system. But the truth of the matter is that Ruto outsmarted any politician in the country and was declared by IBC as the fifth president. So that is the message any Kenyans must now understand and receive whether you like it or not. That the one who controls the country is Ruto. But let me ask you, how is it going to be possible to, re to remove William Ruto? If by that time he was outside the government, though he was the deputy president, and he had smarted Raila Odinga, he had smarted Uru Kenyatta, he had outsmarted Akina Kibicho, Akina Matiani, and all the rest. So how is it, how is it going to be possible this, on this Mutai Nguyen Street, saying that Mount Kenya people are now uniting to remove Ruto. And in, in fact, Mutai Nguyen have, have gone against this, saying that this is a, a foolish societal scheme which is imagining in Mount Kenya. So this is just a political theatrics, differences, which is now being embarked by other politicians in our country. Ladies and gentlemen, let's dig deep on the negative effect of this. Negative effect on this is that. In any case, Rigadi Gashagwa is planning to do so, because I'm not much aware of again. Then our country is going to be on the other side. It is going to split Rift Valley and Central people that are going to disagree. What about other tribes? Because I, we are seeing opposition is working hand on hand with Raila, <laughs> uh, with, with, with Ruto, as Mutai Nguyen have also said, that uh, 
Ruto and Raila are now together again. So the same Raila they were saying is working with Uru Kenyatta is again working with Ruto. That is ironical. That tells you that politics is always well planned, well drafted for any politician to achieve whatever he wants. And le let me tell you reason why Raila Odinga and Ruto are working together as I now finalize this analysis is that I know people will imagine of AU let's forget that William Ruto is having interest on Luo votes or Nyanza votes because he knows that Raila is having a great impact when it's come to Nyanza vote when I speak of Nyanza vote including even Western Kisi and, uh, and the rest and uh, places like Migori, Kisumu so it means that these people, in any case, Raila will say Ruto and Metosha, they will vote Ruto. And that is how Ruto is going to a smart regard Gashago. There's no one who, who can pe compete with Ruto at this moment and defeat him. That will be a dead on arrival. As much as he has dis uh, disagreed with Kenyans, but wa Kenyan wale wale tu, watapea miatano, wampigie kura. So Mtai Nguni is now telling us the truth here. That Uru Kenyatta is the problem <laughs> in Mount Kenya. Is the one who allowed all this to happen. Is it true? He's also saying that dear Kikus, you can unite as well as much as you can. But you won't make it to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your take on this? today's analysis. Bye-bye as you have to meet on another political platform.